Hi, welcome to Smarts and Crafts. This week, we have art teacher Miss Martindale. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What are we doing here this week? So today, um, I am introducing you to a process, a printmaking process called linoleum cut or lino cut. Um, and you're going to be learning how to print a very basic relief cut using lino cut tools to create um, an image using different textures, like so. And then we will print it together. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. How will we start? So these are um, our lino cut tools, and you can see here I have a block of um, an image I did earlier, and a block here of some different marks you can make. This is what it looks like. So you want to make sure that you're cutting away from your body as you are cutting. So you always hold your tool in your dominant hand, cutting away from your body. And you can work with different pressure, different, um, widths of tools so you'll notice that some of your tools ha are thin for a thinner line wide for a wider line and so why don't you go ahead and working away from your body begin to carve your design you can think about linear pattern you can think about cross hatching like so or even little dot patterns So this uh, lino cut process is a relief process of printmaking. I was trained as a printmaker um, in graduate school. It's sort of my area of expertise. And this is one of many types of printmaking that I do. And it's a nice way to think about creating an image using your whites and then printing it in a color or black and white. Yeah. How long have you worked at NHS? I've been um, at Northampton High for two years. This is my second year. Um, it's been two, well, one full year. I'm in my second year now. Um, really fun and good years. It's a great community. Um, a fun fact about me is that I graduated from Northampton High School in 1998. Wow. So um, I've come full circle. And um, this is the old cafeteria. I spent four years eating lunch in this corner over here. So I think a lot of students don't know that the art suite, uh, Miss Leary and I are really lucky to have three classrooms that encompass a good chunk of the third floor. Um, but this is the former cafeteria. So four years eating lunch in that corner over there. Yeah. So it feels like I've, I'm back home. Yeah. So How's it going? <laughs> no, it's a, no, no, no. So think about different um, pressure, right? Do you want to, we can get you up here. Use a Sharpie to draw your image out first. I don't really, I was just drawing lines. <laughs> yeah, drawing lines. So what I can show you too is how to ink up an image so you can get a better idea for what it might look like. Um, because what we're doing is we're carving away the positive space which is the white of the image in this case. So it's actually sort of a reversal image. You're having to think backwards. What you're, what you're carving away is the white of the image. So let's um, ink up your blocks to see what you have. So to ink up your block, we use a brayer to give you a visual for what you're working with. So you can see the image begin to emerge. So this linoleum cut process is actually um, a printmaking process used by a lot of graphic designers in the industry. It's part of the folk art tradition. But it's a nice way for artists and students to begin to think about um, positive and negative space. So if we want to print the image, we can lay it down. And then we'll put paper on top. So it's not like a, a stamping of an image. It's actually a printing of the image. And we hold the paper in place. And this, is, this tool that I'm using is called a Baron. And I use that to apply pressure from the back. Okay. 
question. The first print, I always tell students printmaking is like making pancakes. The first print is always a light print. You always need to add more, right? So you can see there's some white in the background. By, by adding more ink and adding more now, we would get a better impression. So we'll do another one. What do you like to do outside of school? What do I like to do outside of school? Um, well, I'm a big gardener. Um, I live locally and I have two toddlers, well, two and a four-year-old. So my days are filled with a lot of art making at home with my kids too. Um, working in the garden, playing with my children and my family. Now I've heard rumors that your dad is actually Mr. Corman from JFK. Is this true? Mr. Corman is my dad. Yes, we had dinner last night. He's doing well. <laughs> it is true. He sends his regards. I keep, he keeps joking with me that I need to bring him in as a visiting artist and we may just find a way to do that um, in my sculpture class next semester because we'll be working with some wood. So at Northampton High School, um, I teach the concepts in art class, which is the introductory level art class here at the high school. It's the prerequisite visual arts class for any student who wants to go on to study art in the department. We have a really strong department um, with Miss Leary teaching a lot of the drawing and painting classes, graphic design, color and mixed media, and coordinating our honors art program. And then I'm teaching um, the ceramics studio, ceramics one and two, and sculpture as well. We'll be all offering those next year. Do you guys want to try to ink yours up? Oh boy. Yeah? You want to see where you're at? You can always keep cutting. Sure. Yeah? What are you making stuff on? Yeah, what are you working on over here? Um, right now, it kind of looks like a boat. So let's see, let's see what we've got. However, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making lines. Here, why don't we place it on here? And you can go ahead and roll it up. So have you always been an art teacher? or? I have. So, um... Since I did my graduate work, so I um, got my MFA at the Royal Line School of um, Design. And when I studied there, I was an MFA student, but I did a lot of teaching. So one of the requirements of my graduate work was to be a teacher. Um, and I went on to teach, to really pursue art education as a career, um, teaching art to pre-college students at the Rhode Island School of Design, adjunct teaching at the college level. Locally, um, during the summer, I also work with adults and teach other teachers how to better their teaching practice as an arts instructor. Um, so teaching's always been at the heart of what I do. I really find that um, working with students and teaching fosters my own creativity. There we go. Pretty good. There it is. There it is. So there's always so much to learn from students, right? And I, I feel like as a teacher, you're constantly reflecting. I feel like teaching is always improvable. Um, and it's a collaborative effort. So I've always been an art educator. I've also worked at the Smith College Museum of Art um, for many years, our local neighborhood art museum. I love to bring classes down for field trips there. It's a really rich resource in our community. Shall we try yours? Sure. Let's do it. All right. Add a little more ink. My art skills are about to be exposed ah. to the entire NHS. Well, you've done this before, haven't you? They're not supposed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and roll it up. So you hear that like ch -ch 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 sound? That's sort of the, the sound of telling us that we have just the right amount of ink. There you go. And then the other way too. Yeah. Great, 
So let's place it up here. And you can keep carving if you want. So what's nice is, you, remember everything's in reverse, right? Not so much for you because you're working with a symmetrical image. Do you want to try? Sure. Yeah, so you're going to mm -hmm. hold the paper down. Yeah, there you go. Good. So even pressure, lots of little circles. So you told us that you grew up in Denmark oh. and you were born there. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like? Sure. And how that Something that came up in our, I guess, preliminary interview um, was that English is my second language. Um, and, it, you know, NHS is such a vibrant community. I have a lot of EL students in my classes. And I was born in Denmark and moved to the United States when I was seven. So I remember what it was like at a very early age learning English for the first time and what that felt like and the obstacles and the fears. Just knowing what they're going through and really um, empathizing because I remember what it was like to be in a new community, to be in a new culture, to not speak the language and to be immersed in what those struggles but also um, what it felt like to overcome that. Yeah. How do you incorporate art into your after-school life? Ah, um, well, I am the advisor of this NHS Ceramics Club, which I took over um, for Ms. Jaffe um, last year. And we had a really, really good year. And last year, a lot of students came to me um, asking about a more general art club, which is something I'm really passionate about. Because when I was a student here, I was very much involved in an art club. And so this year, um, we have a newly formed art club. Um, we've had two meetings. We uh, meet Tuesdays after school in this room, in room 320, um, while we also have ceramics club running next door in room 318. And I kind of bounce back and forth. We have about 25 people who are participating at this point. Um, it's a really fun, safe, relaxed space to come and work with art materials. You don't have to be enrolled with art classes or in art classes to participate. So, you know, one of my main beliefs as an art educator is that even if you think art's not your thing or you don't want to take an art class or you don't have room for art, you should still try it, right? Because art teaches us skills that are valuable um, in all walks of life and across vocations and occupations and um, different disciplines. So all students are welcome. Um, it's fun, it's relaxing. If you're in my class, you can come and work on assignments. You can come um, and just, you know, work with friends on projects and be creative. All right, thank you for being on our show. Um, we learned some new art techniques. Great. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, it was very fun. Yeah, come back anytime. If you want to make a print, come to Art Club. Come make art. It's good for the soul. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.